Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. I am your host, Escalante TV. Now, today, I'm going to be making a different type of video. I haven't made this kind of video in a long time. If you guys are long-time subscribers, you know that I used to play Minecraft and do Minecraft Let's Plays. But it certainly has been a while, so... Uh, I decided to go ahead and log on to Minecraft. And uh, I saw there was a bunch of educational content for free at the Minecraft store for Minecraft Bedrock. So, I might as well... Um, play one of the educational maps to pass the time so we're gonna hit the play button here so pretty much uh, let's see here uh, we're gonna play Washington DC uh, I decided let's just visit the nation's capital uh, in the virtual world since right now we can't exactly travel let's see here is loading oh yes uh, we're gonna I'm going to go ahead and uh, unlock world templates, unlock all settings. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to do some of the adventure in the game. So I'm going to, I'm just going to set it to normal. Life in America isn't that peaceful. No, we're not going for the peaceful setting here. Um, we're going to be realistic here. Simulation distance four chunks. I'm not too sure. We're going to probably set... Set it to the highest chunks, I guess. Um, my PS4 can take it. Uh, show coordinates, why not? Nah. Alright. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. World is Washington, D.C. America. District of Columbia. Here we go. Okay, so... We just spawned in Washington, D.C. I don't know where we are. We're probably on a plane or something. Uh, so there's free play mode. Play whatever you want. Story mode. Build a car that runs on trash. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and play the story mode, why not? Can, can I go to the nation's capital now? Oh, there it is, the capital building. Oh, and it's loading very, very weirdly. Welcome to the Washington, D.C. Welcome to Washington, oh boy, look at the capital building. Look how nice it looks. So, what the heck? I have to build a car? What? I, I didn't know it was that... What? I don't have time for this. I just wanted to explore Washington, D.C. And my game is lagging. My game is very laggy right now. Oh, what the heck is this? This isn't Minecraft. Taxi? Yo, where am I? Oh, oh, okay, okay. So there's a car lab, the quiz room, and the Washington Mall. We're gonna go to the National Mall. Or actually, there was a quiz. There was a quiz I could take. Oh, look at this, the cherry blossoms. It's springtime. They ta they said there would be cherry blossoms here. Oh, shice. That's a... Uh, oh, no, the Washington Monument. No, I can't desecrate this. What's here? The Washington Monu Monument? Monument? Alright, so the big, the big pencil of a Washington Monument. Not that interesting. Oh, that's the, is that the, what's that over there? It's a cow. Alright, we're gonna get on our motorbike here. Doesn't make any noise. Where's the capital? Oh, shoot. I know what this is. It's the Korean War Memorial. Welcome to the Korean War, Me War Me Veterans Memorial. The Korean War Veterans Memorial features haunting statues of, pl of a platoon on patrol. And you didn't let me finish reading, but okay. What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? Battery? Oh, this is like to build the car, huh? Might as well just take stuff from the... Korean War Memorial, I guess. Fact 8. Facts. Oh, they're facts. Okay, cool. The Korean War Veterans Memorial features haunting statues of a pl platoon on patrol in the Korean War. North and South Korea fought to a stalemate, and a peace treaty was never signed. Yeah, that is true. The Korean War is still going on right now. 
All right, so we got some facts. Is there more? F are these all fact books? Same fact? I didn't have to take all of them, I guess. All right, so we got to le learn a little bit about the Korean War. Yeah, that is true. Um, it's the Forgotten War, and... Um, yeah, there was years and years and years of negotiation to get... Um, the, the remains of these soldiers back home. Yeah, it's pretty... Solemn statue, what's this? What's this doing on the memorial? Is this trash? Use a cleaning tool to remove trash. I don't have a cleaning tool. I, I think I, I didn't have the patience to... I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, you have to exchange trash for money in the vending machine. All right, um, let's go to... What's this? Oh, the Lincoln Memorial. What's this? The Lincoln Memorial. Let's see here. Let's let's. Oh, what's this? The seat for the car. Okay. Well, we'll get all four seats. You know what? We're just gonna take fact four. Welcome to the Lincoln Memorial. The Lincoln Memorial is an American national memorial built to the honor of the 16th president of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. Awesome. Yes, the great emancipator. All right. What's here? Oh, okay. So it's trash for this coin. Okay. But I, I just want to explore DC. That's all I want to do. I didn't come to DC to build a fuel-efficient car for the moment. All right. So there's Abe Lincoln. Oh, shice! No, it's hollow. Dang, Lincoln. All right. All right. So here's the Washington Memorial. There's the Washington Monument. I mean, not the. This is the Lincoln Memorial, not the. Right, so this is the Lincoln Memorial Washington Monument over here. Okay, so let's take our motorbike. Like, there's the. Is that the Iwo Jima? Yeah, that's the Iwo Jima statue. The victory on Iwo Jima when they raised the flag. And there it is. Okay, might as well go get, go get something over here. What's over here? Guide. Yes, I, I was right. It was the Iwo Jima Memorial. I didn't know they... Oh, yeah, they did. They do have one. The Iwo Jima Memorial shows the flag raising at the Battle of Iwo Jima. The memorial is huge at 78 feet tall, and the canteens on the statue would each hold eight gallons of water. Awesome. Cool. Interesting. What's this? Radiator for the car. All right, we'll take radiators for the car. General Skywalker... You're making the Republic proud. The Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pledge of Allegiance. We're made to memorize that. <laughs> School every morning. Alright, what's over here? It's a bunch of houses. It's a gas station. Okay, it's just houses. Where's the Capitol building? Where's the White House? Oh, there's the White House. There's the White House. Is that the White House? Yes. No. No, not the White House. No, this is the White House. And there's the Oval Office. Okay. Awesome. This is where the President lives. Mr. President? Am I allowed to go in? Mr. President? This is the White House. Yes, the White House. Mm-hmm. The White House. All right, let's see here. Where can we find Donald Trump? Uh, welcome to the White House. All right, we'll take the axle for the car. Take the axle. Okay, so fact number five. What was it? Where was it? Oh, yeah, the White House. The White House was built in 1792. This was where the presidents live. John Abrams was the first president to officially live in the White House and call it home. Yes, the executive mansion. Yes, the executive mansion. Let's go inside. Uh, Donald Trump, are you in here? They do two tours of the White House, but I think they're like restricted and stuff. Um, I think you have to like call your local representative if you want a tour of the White House. Uh, is there food in here, Mr. President? Where are you, Mr. President? I cannot find the president. Mr. President, it's me, General Skywalker, from the Galactic Republic. Mr. President, I need to find you. 
It's the situation room. Where they killed Bin Laden. I can't find the president. Is he in the Oval Office? It's just a bunch of offices. It's all a bunch of boring offices. Mr. President? Mr. President? Hello? Where are you, Mr. President? Alright, I can't find the president. He's nowhere to be found. Alright, the president is not here. He's not home. Okay, the White House blows. We're, we're leaving. So it's the National Library. What's in the National Library? What's up here? Uh, yes. The National Library. We got more engine parts. Let's see here, the National Library. Oh, the National Archives, of course. The National Archives hold many documents, including the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and the Bill of Rights. These documents are called the Founding Documents. Epic. Epic. Do they actually have them on display, like in the real National Archives? Can I, can I see where it is? I, there's like a bunch of statues here, too. Like, I don't know. Like, let's see here. No. Can I find the... Can I actually find these documents? I actually own a mini constitution, and there's and the constitution's already online. These these documents are already online. They, these this place just holds the original documents. They were actually, you know, on. Oh no, there's nothing here. It's just a bunch of pile of books. I mean, the real library is probably more interesting to visit. Oh, there's the Capitol building. There's the Capitol building right over here. Let's get down. Ah, uh, yes, the two houses, uh, the House of Representatives and the Senate. Yes, 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 yes. Where's the entrance to the Capitol building? I want to go inside. There it is. Okay. There's two entrances, all right. Um, if I remember correctly, the right is the Senate building, right? Mind the Senate? The Senate floor? All right, I don't know. Oh, yes, this is the Senate building. Yes, this is where we make all of our great decisions. I guess there's a, you know, president or of the of the Senate, of the Congress. Let's see here, yeah, so this is Congress. All right, there's a man, there's a man right here. The U.S. Capitol building. There's a tank of fuel for our car that I, I'm... The car I'm never gonna build. Um, what's this? Fact number nine. The U.S. Capitol building started construction in 19... In 1793. This is a place where the Senate and the House of Representatives work. Together, they make up the U.S. Congress. Alright, so we're in the Cong... We're in the... I think that was the Senate chamber right here. This was the Senate chamber. The State of the Union happens and all that. So, I don't think I'm gonna do anything funny in there. Um, okay, so on the other end, I, I think it's the House of Representatives. Is this the, is this, oh no. There's just another man out here. What are you, what are you gonna do, man? Just a hubcap for my car. Okay, what's this? Fact number three. Fact number three, a tomb was built beneath the rotunda of the Capitol to honor the first president, George Washington. However, Washington wanted to be buried at his home in Mount Vernon. So, the tomb lies empty. Yeah, so... Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know the... Below the rotunda, it was supposed to be Washington's tomb. But it ended up... I, I guess he, he, you know, he wanted to be sort of... He was really humble. He was a humble man, but... The guy owned some slaves. The guy owned slaves, but he was a humble man. He wanted to retire from public life after the Revolutionary War. But he... I, I think I think the people f at first wanted him to be king, but uh, he wanted to be sort of, you know, president. He was the first president um, of the U.S. You know, he's on the one dollar bill. The one dollar man. It's also the name of the state I live in, Washington. 
Um, let's see here. All right, so it's just a bunch of empty rooms. Uh, where is this House of Representatives? Because I know, I know a bunch that the Capitol building just has a bunch of weird, you know, empty rooms. Most of the time, they're just, you know, used for that boring lawmaking. But okay, so we're we were in the Senate building, and I and I think over here it's just the House of Representatives. But I think we're done here in the. In this building, uh, I think this is where the Supreme Court is. No, what's what's this building? What's this building? This is where the no, oh, it's the Library of Congress. Okay, so there's the National Archives and the Library of Congress. Okay, there's the car tires at the Library of Congress. Let's see what's here. Another fact about DC: the Library of Congress is the largest building, the largest in the world, but only members of Congress and staff can check out the books. That is true. That is true. I think they allow some people of the pu like the public to come in, but they you can't they can't check out any books to like I, people. This is where like all the important books, you know, this is where they kind of do research here. So, but I can't. All right, I can't find anything else in here. So, okay, all DC is is just a bunch of boring libraries. It's interesting how. It's been built in Minecraft. You know, I've been I've been wanting to find the Supreme Court building this whole video. Where is it? Oh, it's the Pentagon. There's the Pentagon. It's the Pentagon where all the military decisions happen. All right, so let's go into the Pentagon. Welcome to the U.S. Pentagon. The Pentagon is the head of defense building for the U.S. The central plaza of the Pentagon is nicknamed Ground Zero. Yeah, unfortunately, it was part of the... It was targeted during the 9-11 attacks. Let's see here. Fact number one. The Pentagon is the head of the defense building for the U.S. The central plaza of the Pentagon is nicknamed Ground Zero. Cool. Cool. Can we... I don't think I'm going to go inside the Pentagon. You know what? I'm, I'm going to make the trek to the Supreme Court. I need to find the Supreme Court building today. What's over here? What's over here? What is this? Another boring library? What is this? Am I supposed to just wander in? Is there a man in there? Oh, the patent office. This is what it was? The patent office? Oh, is this supposed to be start testing? You need a... I didn't know there was going to be a test. Wait a minute. Is this the patent office? Okay. All right, we're going to take your test here. Who was the second vice president? Uh, Thomas Jefferson? Is that it? Uh, oh, okay. I'm supposed to choose Thomas Jefferson. You are right. Oh, yes, I I am right. Okay, uh, who was buried beneath the Capitol Rotunda? Who is buried in the tomb? Nobody. Nobody's buried down there. All right. Uh, who was assassinated at Fort Steeter? Oh, that was Lincoln. That was Lincoln. Epic. How much water can feed in the canteen at the Iwo Jima Memorial? It was eight gallons. It was eight gallons. What is the name of the three documents found at the National Archives? Oh, the founding documents, of course. Who was the first president to live in the White House? It wasn't George Washington, it was John Adams. Uh, where is the only painting by Da Vinci in the United States? Oh, uh, I remember. Um, was it in the rotunda? No, I'm not checking notes. Dang it. Oh. Uh, who was the first president to live in the White House? It was, of course, John Adams. It was the National Gallery of Art. I mean, that's 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 what makes sense. Okay. Um, besides the Senate, which other office or government is located in the Capitol? The House of Representatives. Yep. 
How long did the Vietnam War last? Oh, um, let's see here, 1954 to 1975. Let's do some math here. Um, uh, lasted 19 years. What the? No, get me back to the quiz room. No, the Vietnam War lasted 19 years. Dang it. No. It lasted 19 years. It lasted 19 years. They can't hide it. Okay, I gotta get rid of this stupid taxi. Um, it was 19 years. What? Oh, okay, um, it wasn't 19 years. Okay, so we're back to square one. It was the House of Representatives. Alright, so if we actually count... Okay, so... I guess it doesn't count 1954. So I guess um, not 1954. So we have to go ahead and say 1968. So 1968 to 1975, I guess. 1968 to 1975. Uh, you know what? Four years. It wasn't four years. One year. 35, because it didn't last 35 years. House of Representatives. It didn't last four years? 35 years? What? No, 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 I'm stupid. Alright, so one year. No, it wasn't. It wasn't one year. I was right, it was 19 years. It was 19 years. What did I click before? Taxi. Um, it was 19 years. What? Abraham Lincoln appears on what currency? Oh, yes, the $5 bill and the penny, but um, I guess it didn't count the penny. Congratulations, you have passed the test. What is this? The U.S. patent? Did I get a patent? Cool. A patent for what? Oh, for my car. It's a patent for my car. Okay, so the Vietnam War did last 19 years, so I'm guessing they counted it from the 1950, mid-1950s to 70s. Okay, so we passed their quiz. Epic. Alright, cool.